Today, some Cape Coral homeowners find out what's next in an off again, on again controversial utility project. We are now 24 hours away from the most important election in recent United States history. We'll have the latest on McCain and Obama this morning. Also, families, fun, and a whole lot of tasting. Many people are still full from all the food and festivities. We'll take you there. WP Next News this morning is next. Good morning, I'm Eric Walker. Thank you very much for joining us this morning on WP Next News this morning. It's Monday, November 3rd, 2008. We are one day from Election Day, and it's a beautiful day at that. Let's get you Think of the forecast. We'll check back with you in a few moments. In the news this morning, today homeowners in the southwest 6th and 7th divided areas in Cape Coral will find out the future of the utilities project. The project would have expanded the city's sewer line to those areas, a project that would have cost homeowners $17,000 apiece. The project was put on hold last week when Councilman Eric Grill changed his mind and voted against continuing the project. You can stay with WPNX News and WPNXNow.com for the latest on development in this issue. Well, just over 24 hours before polls open Election Day, and today the candidates are all over, hitting key battleground states. John and Cindy McCain will cover six states today, Florida, Tennessee, Pennsylvania, Indiana, New Mexico, and Nevada. McCain running mate Sarah Palin will be in Ohio, Missouri, Iowa, Colorado, and Nevada as well. Meanwhile, Barack Obama is campaigning in Florida, North Carolina, and Virginia. Joe Biden is spending time in Missouri, Ohio, and Pennsylvania. And Michelle Obama is stumping for her husband in Nevada and Colorado. Just with one day left until Election Day, WPNX's Amy McLean spent time with both campaigns as they prepare for the final hours. That was, MET, it, that was our reporter, uh, Amy McLean. Thanks, Amy, for that report. The 26th annual Taste of Town is in the books this morning, and thousands of Southwest Floridians flock to downtown Fort Myers to celebrate the tradition. WPNX co-sponsored the event with the Junior League of Fort Myers, and WPNX's Keegan Feeney has a look at the festivities. That was WPNX's Keenan Feeney reporting. The event is the Junior League's main fundraiser each year, bringing in money to help women and children. Taste of the Town also brings in canned goods for cooperative, cooperative ministries of Fort Myers Soup Kitchen. This year, people donated a record number of We're going to be right back here on WPNX News this morning. We're going to check up your weather forecast on the other side of this break. It's a chilly morning out there. Stay pulled up. Right back.